avocado toast for breakfast. I kept it simple with sourdough bread, avocado, tomato, and a fried egg with balsamic and everything but the bagel. It's been a while since I made a good old fashioned avocado toast. Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. I didn't say hi yet, but I'm gonna eat really quick because I'm very hungry and we will catch up. Okay, hi guys, welcome officially to the vlog. Today is Saturday and I'm really happy to be vlogging today because I have a lot of things I wanna do. This is the first weekend in a while where I don't have any plans at all and I'm really happy about it. I'm happy to just stay home to just relax, do whatever I want. In today's vlog, I wanted to do some things around the house. I have a new bed so i wanted to update my bedding and then i have some shopping i want to do and then i have a couple errands to run but other than that it's gonna be a really chill vlog so i've mentioned in the past i've been having kind of back problems and not really liking my mattress it's really uncomfortable so i was in the market for a new mattress and I finally found one and that's what I have right here in this big box. It's from Dream Cloud. They make premium hybrid direct-to-consumer mattresses that you can buy online and they feature a blend of memory foam and individually wrapped springs and each of their mattresses is cashmere topped for a really good price point too. And my favorite part about Dream Cloud and what sold me on buying a whole new mattress online without trying it out first is they have a 365 day trial where you can try it out and if you find it's not for you you can return it so they have three different mattresses they have the dream cloud mattress the dream cloud premier mattress which is what i got and then they also have the dream cloud premier rest mattress the one that i got the premier is 14 inches the premier rest is 16 inches but it's a seven layer mattress that makes it breathable very comfortable and most importantly it has pressure relieving memory foam which is something that I really was excited about. So I'm gonna just go ahead and open it and I'm gonna swap my current mattress with this one. I'm so excited to try it out and to lay on it. Can you grab this over there? Do what? Just go over there and like grab, like pull it from there. Comes with a little pamphlet and then also this little, I think this is a cutter so I can open up that plastic. So here's the mattress. It was a really easy process and you do have to wait about 24 hours for it to fully expand. So we won't sleep on it tonight, but I love it. It's so soft and comfortable. Like first impressions, it's so freaking soft. It's not too soft. You don't sink all the way in. It's a nice like firm and really cozy, comfortable um, surface. So just some other things I wanted to point out about their mattresses. They use an innovative sleep science to help guide their construction so that it's designed to give maximum airflow beginning with the cashmere blend cover. Oh my god, I love the covering. It just looks so luxurious. And the cashmere is meant to be ultra lightweight and breathable and like I said, very luxurious and also has a cooling gel memory foam which is like my biggest wish list in a mattress because I get really hot when I sleep at night so it has that like cooling memory gel. I'll probably go ahead and put the bed sheets on though just to have it ready to go for tomorrow night but I am obsessed. So again this is their premier mattress the 14 inch breathable memory foam and it's exactly what I wanted in a mattress so I can't wait to sleep in it tomorrow night. I'll give you guys an update in the next vlog about how it feels but already it feels so good. Oh, I love it. So soft and so comfortable like this cashmere layer. Oh, 
I could just lay here like this without bed sheets. It's so comfy. I just got these new bed sheets from Target. I really wanted to change it up because I'm kind of tired of the all white bed sheets. And since we have a new mattress, I thought it would be nice to have a new fresh set of sheets. So these ones are from the Threshold. Yeah, Threshold line. And they're black with these like beige and tannish looking flowers. I thought it would tie in really well with the rest of my bedding. So I'm gonna wash these and put these on the bed too. I just wanted to see what the bed sheets would look like on the bed and I love them. I think they're so pretty and so luxurious in the black on black I think it looks really good. So yeah, I think I'm gonna actually take them back off just so I can let the mattress breathe for the 24 hours that it needs to. I just wanted to see what the sheets would look like and I think I like it. So I will um, take these off now and they're all washed and clean so I'll just put them on tomorrow when the 28 hours or 24 hours is up because it does need to be um, a little bit expanded more. Okay, so before I leave to head out for my errands, I wanted to show you guys really quickly some clothes that I rented from Rent the Runway because I'm actually gonna go return it right now. That's why I have to go to the UPS because I have to ship this package back. But I started renting from Rent the Runway and if you're not familiar, basically they have a big closet, a big inventory of thousands of items, all really nice designer brands and you can just rent the pieces for a month and then you send it back. So currently I'm doing the 10 piece plan each month I get 10 pieces but five at a time so I basically get two shipments each month the first shipment is like five items and then you swap it for another five items so I actually have five new items that are going to come in the mail in a couple days so I have to ship this back before it comes but before I did I wanted to show you guys in the vlog if you follow me on Instagram then you've seen this already because that's where I posted it and I really wanted to show it in the vlog because these are some really really cute pieces and if you don't have Instagram um, You didn't see it, but let me just show you really quick because I'm so obsessed I kind of wish I could keep some of these pieces and that actually is an option if you really do like something you can keep it You just have to pay a price and their stuff is kind of expensive a lot of it is like a hundred two hundred three hundred dollars so it's good to rent because these are some high quality pieces designer pieces, but you don't have to pay $200 on something that you'll probably only wear once. So yes, okay, let me show you really quick. There's this skirt. I love the detailing on this. It's kind of like a two layered kind of, I don't know, like abstract looking skirt, but I really love the gray design on this. It's a faux leather, but super cute long skirt. It looks really cute with boots. This was super cute. And this is really comfortable too. I kind of wish I kept this but I feel like I'm not gonna wear this more than once but okay so there's that and this jacket I did show this in the vlog I've worn this several times um, and it's just so cute it's super thick though this is really good for very cold weather it's actually a little bit too thick so I was kind of sweating in it a couple times I wore it but oh my god look at the detailing I love the lining and I really love the color of it and then we have this top so cute Oh my god, it's just so fun and frilly, and I love the huge puffy sleeves. This is the one piece that I really, really, really wish I could have kept. I love it. This cropped twill or tweed jacket. It has these sparkles in it. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed. I just love the fit and how it looks with jeans like this, and it is just so comfortable. This is the last piece I got, this dress. Adorable. Just, oh my god. I love this dress. It just cinches so nicely in the waist. It fits so good. And the color is so pretty for fall. And I love this neckline. Like a kind of plunged square shape. But yeah, this one was super cute. I feel like this is something I would only wear once. So um, that's why it's good to like rent stuff like this. But yeah, that's all that I got for that shipment. I'll show you guys my next shipment when I get it. I got more casual clothes. I feel like this is a very dressy haul. So yes, I need to go pack these up now and return them. So it's a really cute website. I've been shopping from them since like college time. I actually used to be a college ambassador for them. Does anyone remember that? They used to recruit people to like promote them on their respective college campuses. So when I was in college, I joined the program and I would try to promote it at my college. Although no one was really interested back then. 
Maybe because we didn't have money in college, I don't know. But yeah, it was a very good shipment. All ready to get shipped back. It's very easy, this is the bag that it comes in. It's like a reusable zip up bag. Hi guys, I'm out, I'm doing my errands. I'm being so productive today. I dropped off my package. I actually forgot I had to film a campaign for TikTok. So I went and I did that really quick and now I'm done. So I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx now. I think I mentioned, I can't remember if I did, but I went there last week with my mom and they had all the Christmas stuff out and there were these little black reindeers and I really wanted to buy them, but I didn't want my mom to judge me, so I didn't get them, but I told myself I was gonna go back and get them and then just look at the other stuff because I'm like, I'm always way ahead of my time. Like I said, back in August, I was ready for fall and now I am saying I'm ready for Christmas time, even though Halloween has not come yet, but Halloween is actually next week, so it's, yeah, it's fine. I'm over fall, I want it to be Christmas season now. Okay, so let's get going. I'm just feeling so much better mentally. This past week was kind of rough because it was the week before my menstrual cycle. And I recently just learned about all the phases and sorry if this is TMI or if you aren't female and don't go through this, I apologize, you can skip this part. And I feel like people don't talk about it because it's like a taboo subject, but we really should because literally we all go through it. But I recently learned about the different phases of your monthly cycle. Obviously we know about the menstrual and the ovulation phases. I knew about those, but I had no idea there was the follicular phase and then the luteal phase. I had never heard of those words. And it's crazy how they don't teach us this stuff in school. They taught us, you know, sex education in the fifth grade, but just the very basics. But I feel like they should have had a separate class for the girls and taught us about us because I didn't know any of this stuff. It took me 30 years to find out about this and maybe that's just on me and maybe I'm just dumb, I don't know. But I recently found out about those two phases, follicular and luteal, and it gave me so much peace of mind when I was reading about it because it just let me know that I am not crazy and that all of these feelings I feel before my cycle is normal. I used to think I something was wrong with me. I would go days without having any motivation. I would feel so sad and so moody and irritated and I would just think something's wrong with me, but no, it's just your luteal phase. So yeah, this past week I was going through that and there is like two days. Well, there was one day when I literally didn't leave my bed. I worked for my bed, I like had my laptop, but I literally did not leave the bed. I like ordered dinner and it was just one of those days where I felt so very, very down and that happens once in a while with me. Um, I used to think it was because I was burnt out from work, but no, it was my luteal phase. I'm not a doctor, so you should definitely do your research and look it up. That's what I did. And it just made me feel so much better. It made me feel like I'm not crazy and like it's normal to feel those feelings of depression, anxiety, moodiness, irritated. Oh my gosh. And there were so many times when I just felt like crying for no reason. And I am not a crier. I do not cry. I rarely cry. The only times I cry is when I'm super, super, super angry, like furious angry, which isn't that often. It was more so when I was in my teens and early 20s. So I only cry with that and also with like really sad things like losing a family member or um, yeah, I think that's it. Like something bad happening to people like in my life. But anyway, so I'm not a crier, but like there was a, there's times during the weeks of my luteal phase where I'm just, I just wanna cry for no reason. And I was just like, what is wrong with me? So that's over with. Today's actually the first day of my menstrual cycle. So. Um, I'm feeling so much better today and I am just out doing my thing and also the first day of your menstrual cycle is the first day of your follicular phase I think so basically your follicular phase is when you feel at your best you feel the happiest the mo most motivated most energized you like feel the most confident and it just all makes sense now when I did that research I was like oh that explains a lot. So yeah, that's my little tidbit on women's health. So anyway, and it's a beautiful sunny day. It was actually raining this past week, which maybe also contributed to my moodiness. I usually like the rain. When I'm going through mood swings, I don't like the rain. I'm very all over the place, wow. Now I'm gonna have even more fun and more cheeriness with Christmas.
Okay, I didn't get much, but I got what I wanted, which was those little reindeers. And the reason I really wanted to get those was because I think it was a couple years ago or maybe three years ago, I saw Crate and Barrel had pretty much the same exact looking little black reindeers for like $60 and I really wanted to get them back then but then I was like that's just ridiculous so I'm glad I didn't buy those and I found them for under $10 at TJ Maxx so let's do a quick haul so I was just very much in the Christmas spirit and sorry if it's really bright the sun is like beaming right now um, but I did get this little mug has little Christmas trees on it. You know what, I'm actually gonna go pull into the shade because it's it's way too bright. Okay, so yes, I got the mug and this really reminded me of the little teddy bear mug that I've seen a lot of people have and it's so cute. It has little tiny uh, teddy bears all over it. So I thought this was like the Christmas equivalent of that. It just has little trees everywhere. It has red lining and I just can't wait to make my Christmas coffees and hot chocolates. And I do have a couple other Christmas mugs, but I really don't have that many, honestly. So I'm gonna start building my Christmas mug collection. And let's see those reindeers. So I got two of them. This one is like a suede brown. And I was gonna get two blacks, but I thought that was kind of boring. I thought I should like mix it up a little bit. So this one is not suede, it's like a felt material. This one is $7.99. It's really durable. It seems like really good quality and heavy. So I think it'll last some good years. And then the black one is a little bit bigger and I kind of wanted them to be different sizes because I think that would be cute like right next to each other. So this one is just like a plain matte black and this is the one that I originally wanted because I saw Crate and Barrel, you know, same one. I wonder if actually, let me see if they still sell it and what the price is. Okay, they don't have the exact same one that I originally saw a few, few years ago. They do have, I have to turn the AC on, it's really hot today. Um, it's like 65 degrees, which is, that's hot because it's been in the 40s and 50s, but okay. So they have these one, you know, kind of like the black reindeer. And that is, that medium one was $65 just for one. And then I'm also seeing that Target has, oh, I should go to Target, oh my God go to Target. We're gonna go to Target after this. Yeah, Target has that. That one is $10, but I like this a lot better. I think it's more minimal, and this is $7.99. So, yes, finally got those. And then I also got this um, shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath from Philosophy. So I actually was shopping on Nordstrom's website last night, and I saw that they had a bunch of Philosophy Christmas things like this, the shampoo, shower, gel, and bubble bath. That's kind of like a three in one. And I was gonna buy one of those, but I didn't. And I'm glad I didn't because this was only $10. And I think the one on Nordstrom is, or original price is 16. It says 16. I don't think it was 16 on Nordstrom. Let me see, $24. Um, it's a different scent though. This one is candy cane, but I honestly don't care. I just really wanted like a Christmassy one. Oh wait, candy cane. It's the same thing. This must be last year's packaging. Um, but I'm sure it's still good. So yes, I wanted to have this for my baths and self-care for Christmas time. And I'm actually running out of shower body wash so I can start using this once that's out. And then last thing I got is something I absolutely did not need because I have so many already. But I got a pair of house slippers. I just love house slippers. Like I'm home all the time, I work from home and I'm always wearing slippers in the house, especially now that it's cold out. And I don't have any brown ones and that's kind of why I got these is because I love the color and the memory foam and it comes with a memory foam padding. It's so comfortable and soft. And I think brown is such a very luxurious color. I'm so obsessed with the color brown now, hence why I got that brown reindeer. But yeah, I don't have any brown ones. And I think this would be really cute with my Christmas pajamas and it's just so luxe. Okay, so that's all I got from TJ Maxx. I was gonna go to Home Goods to look at more Christmas decor, but I don't think I need to. But Target's right here, so I'm gonna stop by there to check out their Christmas home section. And then also I wanna see if they have any good throw pillows for the bedding since I just changed the bedding. I kind of want to get like black or maybe even even brown pillows because the bed the bed sheets that I got are um, black and they have like you know those brown detailings in it. So I think brown pillows would be really cute to match. So we're gonna go check it out now and see if we can come out with less than two things. 
Every time I go to Target, I walk out with like 10 things in my hand. You know when you grab the basket thinking, okay, I'm only here for milk and mayonnaise. Do you guys remember that vlog when I went to Target and I only needed to get milk and mayonnaise and I walked out with like a cart full of de home decor? So funny, so that's like my ongoing joke. I always say to Anto, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go to Target for milk and mayonnaise and then I come back with like five bags of things. So, um, but yeah, do you ever like grab a basket in the store and you're just like, okay, I'm here for a couple things. I don't need a cart. And you end up dragging your cart because it's so heavy because you fill it up with so many things. The last time that happened to me, one of the um, workers at the store, I forgot, I think it was a grocery store. So it wasn't Target, but I was at the grocery store and I had a basket and my basket was so full. And <laughs> the, the, she was stocking the groceries and she looked at me and she was like, that always happens, doesn't it? You end up getting the basket, but then you should have just gotten the cart. I was so embarrassed. Okay, we're at Target. Let's see what's inside. I didn't end up buying anything in Target, but the Christmas section was stacked. There was so much stuff, and I hope you guys enjoyed that little preview. I tried to record as much as I could, and I had the orientation going this way because I'm also gonna post a TikTok about it. But yeah, I saw a lot of things I really liked and I really wanted to get, but I just held off because I wanna see what I have. I need to pull, pull all of my Christmas stuff out of storage first and see what I have and see what I need. I know I do want um, a couple new white Christmas trees, like the little figurines, because of the ones I had last year, if you guys remember, are they're actually candles, those little white Christmas trees that were sitting on my TV stand. And I want like actual ceramic ones. So I saw a really pretty marble one and I saw another really cute little small one. So I couldn't decide between the two, so I think I'll let it marinate in my mind and I'll come back maybe in a couple weeks. But that was so fun looking at everything and just got me in the spirits of Christmas. So I am gonna go home now. Oh, also I didn't find any pillows, but then I thought to myself, you don't need any pillows. The ones you have now are just fine. So I'm gonna go home now and I will check in with you guys there. It's been a few hours, is that? What is that on my face? Why is it so shiny? It's been a few hours since I vlogged. I showered, got ready for a cozy night in, and I'm going to make some dinner right now. So I'm gonna be making something I'm really excited to make. I've never done it before, but I've been craving this, and I've been wanting to make it. I'm gonna make lasagna soup. It became so popular last fall, last winter, and I've always just wanted to try it ever since I've seen it, but I just, I don't know, I just never got around to making it. So finally, we're gonna try it tonight and I hope it goes well, hopefully I do it right. But I found a recipe online and it's actually not a traditional lasagna soup recipe. I found an alternative one that is a little bit healthier, a little bit more low calorie and the ingredients are a little bit different. So if you are looking for a nice healthy alternative, healthier I should say, I think it's pretty healthy. It's gonna be some vegetables and I'll show you guys in a minute what I'm gonna put in it. But I'll also link the recipe in my description. I found it online, just a random recipe, but I'll link it and I'll show you guys how it turns out. I'm really excited, I'm starving. So hopefully this doesn't take too long. So we have our ingredients, of course our lasagna. I have these shorter pieces that I think I'll use because you're supposed to break up the lasagna pieces and throw it in the in the soup. So I'll use those and then olive oil, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper. I'm using ground turkey. This is 99% fat free. Hopefully it'll taste good. But I'm um, just trying to be a little bit healthier. We got some fresh basil. Zucchini is part of the recipe that I saw online. I love zucchini. I think it's one of my favorite vegetables, so I think it'll be really good. Minced garlic, and then the recipe calls for a white onion. I only have red. I don't think it'll make that much of a difference, so I'll just use what I have. And then some marinara sauce. Uh, chicken stock, I'm using unsalted, low sodium one. And then the recipe didn't have ricotta cheese in it, but I think I'll just 
put a small scoop on top at the end when I'm plating it. So I think that'll add some good flavor to it. And this one is um, a little bit lower fat than, than most normal ricotta cheeses. So that's it. Again, I'll link the recipe in my description so you can check it out there. Oh my gosh, it turned out looking so good. Hopefully it'll taste good. Hold on, I need to take a photo. Let's just put the rest of the basil in there. I got really bothered when plates are dirty. I think I've been watching too much kitchen nightmares. Here's what it looks like final. I just added a couple scoops of ricotta in the basil and it smells really good. Have to do a taste test on camera. Oh my gosh, it's hot. All right. Let's get a scoop. The only thing I wish I did differently is I wish I cut up the pasta a little bit smaller, but it's okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is so good. I'm glad I added the ricotta because I actually tasted a little bit of the broth while it was still cooking and it tasted too soupy, but with the ricotta mixed in, mmm. And the basil definitely gives it a lot of a lot of its like lasagna Italian flavor. You can definitely taste the healthiness of it though. I'm sure the actual lasagna soup tastes a little bit different and tastes a little bit more like lasagna. This kind of tastes like a vegetable soup, but no, 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 it's still good. Still so good. Can I like show you guys? <laughs> there, there's everything all mixed in together and the zucchini is so good with it. Mm. I give it a B, maybe B plus. It's pretty good. Hey guys, I am sitting in my office. It's like 11 o'clock at night and I'm actually getting some work done. I usually never work Saturday nights, but I have a busy week coming up. It's the last week of October and the last weeks of the month, like are always so busy for me. And also the previous week, this past week, I really took it easy when it came to work. I'm editing right now. I'm just getting myself organized and I'm also opening some packages that I didn't get to go through earlier this week. Sorry it's dark. I don't really have any lights in my office except for that one behind me, but I got some packages in the mail. I'm so excited for one of them because it reminds me of Christmas and Vlogmas. I got an advent calendar. This one is from Bare Minerals. I love advent calendars. I just think they're so fun to open. They remind me of my childhood when my grandma used to send us advent calendars and it just reminds me of the Christmas season. So this one, like I said, is from Bare Minerals. Hopefully the lighting is okay. But this one is 12 Days of Joy and it's a bunch of their beauty products. And it actually shows on the back what's included. So it might not be that much of a surprise, but it's still fun regardless. So my first advent calendar of the season. Oh my gosh, sorry guys, the lighting's so bad. I wanna get a couple more. I was really debating if I should get the Nespresso advent calendar this year for Vlogmas. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that again this year because I did it last year for Christmas and it was a lot of fun. It was a really good box, but I have like 
maybe four or five months worth of coffee in my cabinet right now. I really feel like I don't need to buy it, but it's just fun, you know, to have it and to open it. And there's like a cute little gift for day 24. So I'm debating and I don't know what to do. So help me out in the comments. Let me know if you guys think I should get it. But I'm excited to open this one. And then I also got another package. This one is from Peach and Lily. I'm actually really growing to like Peach and Lily a lot. I mean, I've always liked their products, but I think... They're becoming one of my top five favorites. So they sent a little kit. It's their glass skin kit. I absolutely love the glass serum. I actually just finished the one that I already have. So I'm glad to have another one. Let me like show from this angle. Is that better? Oh yeah, that's so much better. Why was I not doing this earlier? Okay, yeah, so it comes with a cleanser. I think this Wild do treatment is a toner and then the serum and then lastly the cream so i'm really excited to try the cream because i haven't tried any of these products yet except for the serum so yeah just going through packages and cleaning up a bit so yeah i think i'm gonna just be here working for the rest of the night and then i'll probably just go relax and watch some tv maybe watch a movie but i'm gonna end the vlog here so I hope you guys enjoyed this one and don't forget to check out Dream Cloud in my description. Everything will be linked there. I'm really excited to try the mattress out tomorrow night and get a good night's sleep. But that's it for me for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you all on my next vlog. Bye.